Hi, everybody. This is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor, and welcome to this BCI podcast number 113 titled How to Select the Best Strikes for the Collar Trade. We're going to be using a real life example with Advanced Micro Devices Inc., which is listed on the NASDAQ exchange under the ticker symbol AMD. Let's launch this podcast by first defining what is a collar trade. Well, a collar trade is covered call writing plus a protective put. So how we do this is we first purchase a stock or an exchange traded fund that gives us our covered or protected position. We then sell an out of the money call option with a strike price higher than current market value. That establishes a ceiling on the trade. So if the price of the stock moves from current market value up to the, the out of the money call strike, we could participate in that appreciation, but not beyond. Therefore, the call strike represents the ceiling of the trade. Now, we then purchase an out of the money put option. Out of, out of the money for puts is lower than current market value. So we have the right, but not the obligation to sell at that put strike. Therefore, it establishes a floor of the trade, which means that if the price of the stock moves from current market value to below that put strike, we cannot lose any more money than the amount that we lose at the put strike. So it establishes a floor. Now, here's the key. When we sell that call option and when we buy the put option, we want to make sure that we have a net credit because we want to end up making money on this trade. So that's how we traditionally establish our collar trades. Now, we have to also set our initial time value return goal range. This will vary from investor to investor. Now, when I set up my covered call writing trades for my monthly returns, I seek an initial time value return goal range of 2 to 4%. In, in extreme bull markets, I'll go as high as 6%, but never higher. In more conservative times, I might want to do 1% to 2%, but basically my range is 2 to 4%. But because in a collar trade, we are purchasing a put option, so our net credit will be lower, and therefore our initial time value return goal range will be lower than for traditional covered call writing. As an example, if I'm seeking 2 to 4% per month for covered call writing, I would tend to seek 1% to 2% uh, as a realistic goal for my collar trades. Okay, let's turn to a real life example with AMD. And the option chain information is based on information from August 3rd, 2020, when AMD was trading at 77.43. So we're gonna look at a call strike higher than amount and a put strike lower than that amount. So we're gonna look on A3 at the August 21st expiration. So it's actually an 18 day trade. Uh, we're gonna look at the 79 out of the money call, which had a bid price of $4. And that establishes our ceiling at 79. Also on August 3rd, we looked at the option chain for puts and the August 21st 70 out of the money put had an ask price of $1.84. And that establishes our floor at the 70 put strike. Notice that when we sell an option, we sell at the bid price, the lower. And when we buy an option, we buy at the ask price, the higher of the bid ask spread. Now, we feed this information into the BCI collar calculator. For those of you who are also watching this podcast, the option chain information is inserted into the white cells at the top of the spreadsheet. So we have the stock price at 77.43. We have the call strike at 79, the put strike at 70, and the premiums for the call $4, and the premium for the put $1.84. And then the uh, information will be calculated into the green cells in the middle part of the spreadsheet. And here's what we get. The net one month time value return is 2.79%. Remember, that's only an 18 day trade. That tells us that the implied volatility of AMD was quite high at that point in time to get such a robust 
return in only 18 days. Now, if we add in the upside potential, if AMD moves from current market value 77.43 up to that 79 call strike, that would represent an additional four point, uh, with upside potential, a total 4.82%. Once again, 18 day trade. Now, what if the uh, price of AMD moves below the put strike, below the floor? Well, that would result in a maximum one month or 18 day loss of 6.81%. So that gives the calculator will give you a framework as to what your initial net time value return is and what your maximum profit is if AMD moves above the call strike and what your maximum loss is if AMD moves below the put strike. So all that information is gleaned from the BCI collar calculator. So let's summarize. Collar strikes are generally out of the money. So that represents both for calls, which is higher than current market value, and for puts, which is lower than current market value. Now we must first set an initial time value return goal range that meets our personal risk tolerance profile and also the amount that we're looking to generate. I mean, we have to establish what our goals are before we enter a trade. And as I said uh, earlier in this podcast, it's always going to be lower than our goals for a traditional covered call writing trade without uh, the, uh, the put uh, component to it. Now, the option chain will help guide us along with the BCI collar calculator to the most appropriate strike selections. Before I go, folks, I want to mention uh, our pride and joy in terms of our best and most comprehensive investment package. We, the acronym we use is BCI Package, which consists of six online uh, video courses uh, along with their downloadable workbooks, six calculators that were created by the blue collar investor, therefore found nowhere else, five of our best selling books. Uh, for both calls and puts and related strategies in ebook format. And our annual premium membership, which is 13 months of membership, which includes all the reports for eligible option selling securities, plus a lot more, which includes our ongoing and never ending video training, uh, our complete library of Ask Allen videos, uh, our Blue Hour webinar series of detailed in depth topics, and we add one or more new training videos every single month. So uh, at the time of this video, there were well over 200 training videos available on the member site. How could you find out more about the BCI package? Go to our website, www.thebluecollarinvestor.com, and look at the top of all of the web pages and click on BCI package for more information, including a video which details everything you get in the BCI package. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for taking the time to listen to and or watch this BCI podcast number 113, how to select the best strikes for collar trades. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this presentation and most importantly, I hope you benefit from it. As always, this is Alan Elman, the Blue Collar Investor. Take care, everybody.